What's up guys? If you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over the pros and cons of NBA 2K21 on next gen. Before we do get into the video, guys, if you could please smash that like button, drop the sub, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated, man. We're gonna go over everything you guys need to know about next gen, um, the pros and the cons about this console. And um, we're pretty much gonna go into it in depth. We're pretty much gonna talk about everything. Before we get into it, guys, if you smash that like button, drop the sub, comment down below, you will qualify for a 100,000 MT giveaway. If you do play my team, this would be greatly appreciated. If you do enter that giveaway, man, also follow the Instagram and Twitter because we are buying and selling MT. If you have MT to sell, hit me up. If you're um, buying or selling MT, just hit me up in general. So here we go. We're going to go over the pros and cons. So <clears throat> for now, I'm going to go over the pros first, okay? Here are the pros. I'm going to go over every single pro. So first off, the loading times are literally absolutely insane. So when I wake up in the morning, I load in a 2K. It's just a classic instinct. So now what happens is um, when you load a 2K in the morning, you're like getting ready, whatever. It takes like five minutes to get in the game. You get on next gen, you're in the game in 30 seconds, no lie. So to get into my team on next gen literally takes 30 seconds, okay? It just makes the process so much faster next gen consoles xbox is going to be the same way with ps5 has done an amazing job with how this works i literally press like two buttons i'm in the game boom in 30 seconds on current gen it takes a lot longer to actually get in the game so now let's go over the next pro so the next pro is by far sniping do you understand how quick this loads up compared to current gen okay do you see how much faster how much of an advantage i have to snipe so today on stream we're probably gonna go grind xp we're probably gonna snipe as well we will be grinding like crazy today on stream. So make sure to pull it to the stream around 2 Eastern, 2.30 Eastern. We will be streaming live. So get ready for that. Um, yeah, sniping on ner uh, next gen is 100 times better than current gen. It's so much faster, so much smoother. Um, that's another pro I'm going to go over. The next pro is definitely the shot meter, okay? Um, we're actually going to get into a triple threat because... Tr uh, not triple threat offline. We're going to go over that. Um, another... We're just going to go into a quick triple threat offline game to show you what's going on and how quick we actually do load up into the game. So I'm going to show you. Look how fast we load up into the game. So it's going literally so fast. We're in the game already, guys. The game has started. Do you understand? Okay, here's one con that I'm going to say right here. This court is embarrassing. This looks like a sauna, okay? I'm not going to lie. They should most definitely upgrade this court. But, um here is a pro about this guys we load into the game asap so now we're gonna go into a con so you can no longer hold y okay that is a big big mistake by 2k because as you can see in tto offline if you're trying to get assist with any player you can no longer hold y to make them cut so if you're trying to get assist the chance of you actually make getting assist is very low creating open shots is going to be very very low so that is kind of a con that's a very big con in my opinion i don't know why they would take that out another con you guys might think it's a pro i think it's a con you could no longer use the shot stick so for instance when i take floaters i'm gonna run past this guy i'm gonna take a floater you have to time your floater okay i don't know why it's like this but there is no longer a shot meter um, or a right stick meter when you actually shoot the ball off a floater in which in my opinion I was very good at aiming the shot stick off a floater very very good I would honestly if it, if there was a challenge to make layups with a player Okay, I would always use the shot stick because I was very good at greeting floaters with the shot stick So that's a very big pro to me and as you guys can see I'm not really playing this game I'm just trying to show you some stuff. So that is a big con another con obviously is the court um, shooting guys Honestly, it's like the same thing. It's a little different. The shot meter is a little different. I'll do it with Coutinho Moby right here. And there is no step backs anymore, guys. So the biggest thing with me in, in online challenges, offline challenges, my favorite thing to do was the step back cheese for three, okay? In my opinion, it's going to be a lot harder to score online because there is no step back cheese because everybody did that. So I'm going to show you what I mean by the step back cheese. Uh, pretty much you just run forward and then you just press RS back, okay? 
that was the best dribble move in the game it was literally the cheesiest thing so here i'm going to show you with coutinho mobley i'm going to try to do the step back cheese and look at that it doesn't work so here's the shot meter definitely a little slower than what it is in the other so that's another thing man and um we're gonna go over some other cons i want to talk about so um pretty much right now if you try to play a game online you're not gonna find anybody like literally there's nobody to be found in online so it's gonna be like that for a while yesterday i was grinding out my xp challenges on tto um not only that honestly most of the people on next gen are most likely gonna be sweats so if you do play 2k to sweat and actually grind out the game like a sweaty man or even if you're just casual you're gonna most likely verse sweats because you have to think about all the people that are young most definitely do not have next gen and or not the best at the game most likely don't have next gen because they really they're really not in a rush to get it especially the younger kids some younger kids are really good at the game most younger kids aren't that good so with that being said for sweats man it might be easier um it might be easier but then again it's very hard to get actually locked up it's hard to actually get matched up in a gameplay so realistically my cons of this game are most likely matchmaking and i think my biggest con about this is actually the fact that you can no longer cut it makes assist and scoring in this game a 10 times harder guys which in my opinion i don't know why they would take that out that was honestly my favorite aspect um to be honest guys i did enjoy the shot stick as well i'm not even gonna say i didn't honestly i thought it was bad at first but i actually enjoyed the shot stick guys um no more step back i don't know really how to dribble in this next gen the dribbling is a lot different there's no more like cheesy dribbling with park players which is a big plus in tto online if you play tto online there's a bunch of bum park players that just scramble back and forth spamming the right stick and they think they're good at dribbling like this bro and the dribbling is a lot less smoother guys so that is a plus there we go a shot right there yeah so there literally is absolutely no step back in this game so i don't know i think they should implement the step back that isn't as op but that would be op against computers online it was very op i would murder kids with that so right now online it looks like it's just gonna be a bunch of pick and rolls and there's like no step back so i don't know how i feel about it it's interesting um we're gonna talk about the park for a little bit too here so pros and cons about the park well the biggest con by far is rookieville guys rookieville is a disaster um pretty much in rookieville you can't even match up with your friends which is i don't know why i think it would be very nice if you can i don't understand why you can't but it would make sense if you do um another thing is guys park's not gonna be that much popping right now it is next gen it did just come out um ps5 drops tomorrow so we will see realistically looking at all this i don't know i think that next gen obviously is gonna be fixed and i think that as a community we should hopefully try to like get our why back man we gotta get this back why is a big thing in this game cutting is a big thing in this game and if you can no longer cut this game will be very very hard to actually play especially if you're trying to grind xp challenges offline man if there's a challenge offline tto to get assist it's most likely not gonna happen so i've been actually using current gen to do my assist challenges because you cannot get assist it's almost impossible to get assist so that was probably one of the main things that i think is should definitely be changed um pretty much though next gen the auction house is incredible guys we're gonna anyone on current gen is probably gonna lose a snipe to a guy on next gen it is 100 times faster it also does depend on your internet my internet is top top grade bro i have files fiber optic with google wi-fi so yeah my five my wi my wi-fi is definitely top of the line but looking at it man i think this game has a lot of potential don't get me wrong my review is definitely good i'm definitely a fan of this game not gonna lie but like i said man if you're grinding xp challenges which after blake i won't i'm around 24k xp after challenges i will no longer grind i will no longer grind these pink diamonds uh because it's really not worth it but as you guys can see that gameplay right there it is very slow paced compared to online gen very very slow paced like a hundred times more slower um from current to online so i don't know i don't know how it is online that was single player triple threat it did feel a lot slower than current gen probably because of the dribble moves and i'm also not used to it at all but those are my pros and cons of right now 
completely on the game realistically they could fix a couple things cutting has to be fixed they have to fix that that is my biggest aspect by far because without cutting there is no movement on offense unless you run plays and why would you want to run plays on triple threat offline it takes up so much time makes single player triple threat 500 times harder to actually grind so yeah that is all we got for the vid i just spoke literally all like everything you could pretty much know about next gen um like i said man it's a great game just needs to fix up a couple things but yeah that's all we got man hope you guys did enjoy stay tuned for market talk after this and then the stream have a good one guys peace what's up guys if you want cheap fast reliable mt make sure you be up on instagram and twitter i am buying and selling mt hit me up right now